Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects on another Cavalier con coin another on another Cavalier coin hunt for you hardcore coin collectors, coin hunters. We're gonna go on through everything from one P right the way up to two pounds. Trying to find some commemoratives, rares, territories, dateless, A to Zs, all that type of thing. Now I can already tell world coins, I can already tell you there's a few to pick off the top where I've seen so I've seen a world coin here. We got twenty of uh, of them. Still not one hundred percent certain what uh, what that is, but uh, um, yeah, twenty grossy Poland, isn't it? I think. So we've already, we're already in for a world coin. Uh, we what else did I see? Something picked off the top. Did I see? Mm, where is it? So I was tipping them out. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm sure I find it, but I've definitely seen there's something commemorative in here. There's a, a definitely more than one world coin in here as well. And I think I've also seen a territory as well. Hopefully we'll find lots and lots and lots. Going to get some 2,000 pennies for Christopher as well to help him towards his world record. I'm sure there'll be plenty in here that we can fish out and uh, I'm good to him. Yeah, so I get these from CavalierCoins.com. They don't pay me or anything. I just just like to say where I've got them from. Just let you know what what's what. Uh, so I paid slightly under face value for these. These are, they're all tarnished. They've been. I don't exactly know where they've been, but I think they've been inside in, in like a wishing wells or fountains that type of that type of scenario. Judging by the the uh, water damage that is pretty consistent amongst uh, the vast majority of them. So yes, they, uh, it's cheaper for them to sell them to me in bulk. It's slightly under face value. There's a year 2000 for Christopher. Um, and for me to then, I like to hunt through them, of course, if I can find any treasure. And then I take them back to the bank. It's better for them to do it. But have a look, check them out. All the details are in the description below for their website. And I would encourage you to have a look at their eBay uh, site. That's in there as well. They always have some interesting auctions. They do sometimes they do do tarnished coins like this, or damaged coins, like a bulk of damaged coins that you can pick up at less than face value. They do interesting territory coins, banknotes. Definitely, uh, definitely worth a look. Is my my humble in my bungle opinion. So yes, yeah, so I'm trying to find a date. There's twenty pounds. That is my. I think that's my ultimate quest, to be honest. To find a 20p that doesn't have a date on either side. We know they exist. 2015, 50p there. We know they do exist in very low numbers. Minted by mistake. They used a new design on one side and an old design on the other. And created a mule. And it doesn't have a date on. So I'd like to find that. And after that... An A to Z 10 pence, I think. That'd be pretty cool to find. Uh, but I settle for a real... Just, well, just look, just looking does it for me. Just the hunt. Get on the hunt. But there's uh, another 2,000. But yes, territories, they're floating my board at the minute. I have a big boy album for territory 50p's. Keeping all the other territories that I find. Snaffling them away. Any world coins as well? Because I'm not really into world coins, but this is this kind of coin hunting is bringing out the world coin hunter in me. I hope I haven't peaked too early, you know. By picking them off the top. Is that all we've got? Let's find out. But don't worry, I will review everything that I find at the end uh, at the end as well. Got a stylized bird there. One P from the Island of Ireland. 1976. Not in bad condition that. Oh, another world coin coming up. Another one of them 20, 20 grossies. 20 grossy coin hunts. What year have we got? Yeah, that's slightly different design. So that's a more earlier one. We found out in the last hunt that the uh, later designs 
have a different design on, like a ring around them, lines. I don't know how to describe it really, but anyway. Go back and see the last coin, I suppose. Aha! We have a commemorative. Oops. Oh, we did have a commemorative 50p. We've got a Scouts. 2007. That would only be worth 50p if it was in lovely condition. Never mind in that condition. But it's our first and hopefully not the last commemorative coin find. Haha. -ha. Another commemorative coin, Tom Kitten. That dirty, dirty pussy. Look at him. He's been lurking in the deep. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. We've got, that is a Gibraltar 10p. That's the Moorish Castle. I've been there. If you'd like to see us in our adventures around Gibraltar looking for coins, do find our second channel, Adventures of Bungle and Lady M. And you'll see us on that tower. Nice condition, that as well. Lovely. Is this a commemorative 2003? Go on, be a suffragette. Come on. Oops. No, it's a Britannia. Oh, -ho, keys. The keys to the kingdom. The keys to Gibraltar. Was that 2005, I think? Is it a five? Can't really tell. Oh, yes. Now, if I had a dollar, every time I found this coin, I'd probably have about five dollars. So, East Caribbean States, 1989. Definitely a year I found before. Um, you could argue, is it, a, um, is it a territory? I think some of the East Caribbean islands, or East Caribbean states, or whatever, think, do they still recognise the Queen? Well, well, I guess they did with the, obviously that's why the Queen's there as the head of state. Are they technically a British territory? Don't know, I think it's up for debate that one. But uh, either way, I'm calling it I'm gonna call it a world coin. And I'm gonna find it a hell of a car hell of a hell of a find. Now this is a world coin I find very often. Oh loads of these from New Zealand, ten cents. First one in this hunt mind. Is that two thousand five? Two thousand six. So that will go off to the side. Oh, five cents. As in European cents. Not in very good condition, that one. Aha. That is a territory that looks like Jersey and it looks like the lighthouse. It is it's a common find on this series, or certainly has been in the last few episodes. That's for sure. We've been to that lighthouse as well. We've walked over to it when the tide was low. We've been to this place as well. That is the map of Guernsey. Lovely, nice condition as well. Another keeper. Oh, world coin as well. We've got a dime. Spin it so we get the right weight. Ten cents. Look at that. Lovely. Is there a mint mark on there? I think there is. The bottom of the neck there. Is it a P? P for the Philadelphia Mint. I think it is. 1979. A hell of a year. One hell of a year. So that'll go into the World Coin Collection as well. Right, I can see something coming up here. 2007. That is going to be another lighthouse from Jersey. And it's in lovely condition. See, we've got sharp edges, that one. Hopefully it's a proof coin. Only available in an annual set. I've just found it and it's worth a fortune. Let me know in the comments. You do. 2016 coming up there as well. It's going to be a good coin no matter what it is. Let's hope it's a Germano Puddle Duck. I have done well in previous hunts. I've been on about it before, but I have found a Northern Ireland Common, uh, Commonwealth Games £2. Found a Benjamin Bunny. It's rotated. Found a triathlon. Uh, and athletics. On quite a few decent coins. I've right, teased it enough. Let's have a look. Is it a duck? Is it a duck? No, it's a Team GB. Boo. Boo. That was the worst possible outcome for the 2016 50p. 
any Potter, any uh, Harry Potter, I was going to say that, any, any Beatrix Potter coin would have been lovely, and I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't, it was Team GB. But it's still a commemorative third one, this little batch, this batch that you're watching now, so I'm pleased with that. Looks like a pyramid or something. 2013. 10 something or other. I don't know what that is. I can't read it either. I don't know. No, I'm going to clue. Let me know in the comments what is this. Another little cheeky. It's a Belgian Frank. It was one of the worst portraits I've ever seen. It was like a cartoon character. Certainly got a big schneck, that's for sure. Apologies if you're watching it. Your Majesty or Your Highness or whatever it is. Whatever you are. There's another territory coin. That's from the Isle of Man, that one. Looks an older portrait. 92. Lovely. There's another Isle of Man penny. A war memorial. 2008. RJ Coins might be interested in that one. That is a really tarnished two pence from the island of Ireland. Oh, you beauty. Yes, you absolutely sexy beast, you. Not only is that an Olympic coin, it is Master Temple's coin. It is Taekwondo. Get in there. You sexy, you sexy motherfucker. So shout out to Master Dan Temple at Master Temple's Treasures and painting with the Master, his second channel. Nice and Olympic Taekwondo guy. Kicking the other guy right in the neds. Hey, <laughs> nice one. Now that is an absolute beauty, that. That is three. That is three pence. Oh, an old three pence. So it's from, from air, from Ireland. Republic of 1961, so it's pre-decimal. And there's a hair on there. And it's got three old pence. I've never seen that before. When I went to Dublin and stayed in a hostel, they had these big, massive coins like in the stairs, stairway on display. But that is a, absolutely class, that. Love that. Hope it's worth a few quid. <laughs> That found a nice, lovely Isle of Man five pence as well. Getting a few just as we get to the very last knockings of it. Like a sail, a sailing ship or a yacht on there. 1993. Lovely. Can't wait to uh, review all these finds. We have done well. Right, it's review time. Let's see all the treasures that we got. We've done all right. We'll start at the top. We've got a 10 pence, the Moorish Castle, Gibraltar. 1994. Lovely condition. Not in lovely condition. A Scout's 50 pence. But I can remember to find one of three. One of four, in fact. There's one, the Team GB from 2016. And uh, a Tom Kitten, 2017. He already looks scary, never mind where he's got that kind of his in shadow. This one will be a contender for the plum. The Olympic Taekwondo 50p from 2011. Let's do the 20s, he's got the keys. Whose keys are these? They're from Gibraltar. World coin here. 20 grossies. I think it's Poland. Found a few with them. They always say I think it's Poland. I should check one of these days. Lovely condition jersey there. 2007. From the, with the lighthouse. Another lighthouse. We've probably got another one, have we? Yep, another two, in fact. 
in not as nice a condition the one on the left whoops the one on the left that's for sure have i mentioned that lady emma and i have been to this very lighthouse on jersey find our second channel adventures of bungle and lady m and you will come back to that one because i think that's the plum you will find us that is a really shiny 10 cents 2011 from new zealand sure we've got more we there there's another one there's another one there with a the mask on let do let me know in the comments what this is I, i've got no idea what denomination or what country is that what one's from but could it be could that say bosnia and hertz hertz Gabona? bosnia and hertz Gabona? could be that one i can't say it all it was about, it was about yugoslavia back in the day uh the lovely isla man there not sure what that design is but it looks very very intricate another one of them poland uh, scenarios 20 grosses this is the uh five cents you as in european cents got a stylized bird there from the on the one p from the island of ireland another one there we've got a dime A little bit of an American theme. We've got this East Caribbean state dollar. It's like the blue Peter ship on there. I like that one. That would be an honourable mention on any any other day. We've got three 20 pences from Guernsey. Sorry for hitting the camera. I really just don't leave myself enough space to, uh, to do these reviews. That'll be a Frank from Belgium. With a big nose there. Lovely five pence. Looks like some dude on a surfboard. Or a, is it surf? No, no, a surfboard. What do you call it when you're sailing on that yacht thing? It's not a paddle board. What do you call them? I don't know. It's kiting, surfing. <laughs> why can't I? Why can't I not think what that is? What do you do? You start, you stand on the board with the with the wind sail. I don't know. Can't remember. Must be too late. My brain's frazzled. Look at that. That's from the island of Ireland. I think another stylized bird on there. Two pence, but it's wrecked. We've got a hock tower. Nice condition from Jersey. And I'm saving the best to last, which is this one. A three, three, three D, so three old pence with a with a hare or a rabbit on there from Ireland, 1961. That is definitely the plum find for this episode. So if you if you want to know where I got them from, I have told you, but everything is in the description, cavaliercoins.com, and check out their eBay page as well. Honourable mention to my friend, the fantastic Master Dan Temple, and the Taekwondo coin. Right, we're all done. If you like 50p's, do like and subscribe. If you like £2, like and subscribe. We upload an episode every Tuesday, Thursday. I do a solo hunt on a Sunday, and I've been doing these on a uh, on a Saturday night as well. It's nearly Christmas, I guess. I've filmed this a few weeks in advance, but it'll be nearly Christmas when this uploads, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully you all have a great time and get lots of lovely coins as a, as a present. And if you want to give Lady M and I a present, hit that subscribe button. Right, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.